Hey composers, and welcome to the very first episode of The Modern Trumpet, the show where I explain everything you wanted to know about contemporary trumpet technique, and maybe a little bit more. My goal with this video series is to introduce composers to the many different unconventional sounds the trumpet has to offer. You can read more at my blog, themoderntrumpet.com, where I've already got a bunch of different posts up on some different techniques. So let's get right to it. Today's topic is air sounds. Now, you might think that this is a pretty basic contemporary technique, and you would be right, but there's some nuance to air sounds that you might not be aware of. So if I just blow air through the instrument, what you hear is a bit like white noise. But once I start moving the valves, you'll notice that the sound is actually pitched. These pitches are pretty limited. You just heard them. I can make seven different pitches with air sounds on the trumpet. Well, actually, I can make eight. If I extend the first and third valve slides, I can get one semitone lower. But that doesn't matter for now. Let's just focus on these seven pitches. The pitches sound about a major seventh lower than fingered. So if I finger a C with no valves depressed, what you actually hear is a C sharp a major seventh lower. Let's hear that again. So I tend to perceive the pitch as being a half step higher in the same octave and not a major seventh lower, but it doesn't really matter. The most important thing to keep in mind is that I only have these seven pitches to work with. So don't go writing some big fancy air sound melody using the full range of the trumpet. It just won't work. So we've talked about range, let's talk about dynamics. Now in the video, the sounds might come across as being pretty loud. I've got some microphones here and stuff, but in real life, they're not really loud at all. So keep that in mind when combining these sounds with other instruments or in an ensemble setting. So there is something I can do to make these sounds a little bit more audible. If I keep some distance between the amateur and the mouthpiece, I can get the sounds a bit louder. So there are a few more variations of these basic air sounds, just blowing air through the instrument. I can remove the mouthpiece and blow just through the lead pipe, or I can turn the mouthpiece around and just blow through the back end. I'm not going to demonstrate all of these variations here in this video, but I've got sound samples of all of these different techniques on my blog. So we talked about range, we've covered dynamics, let's move on to some different sound colors. You can spice up your air sounds by adding different consonant or vowel sounds to them. You can use flutter tongue or even growl. One of my favorite effects with air sounds is using half valve. So by slowly depressing the valves only partially and blowing through the instrument, I can get this really weird modulating air sound. It's pretty cool. Of course, you can also combine all of these sounds to create your own unique air sound motif. So there you have it. I hope this gives you a better idea of how to write for air sounds on the trumpet. If you want to know more, head over to my blog where I go into a bit more detail on these techniques and also give you some tips on notation. The link is in the description. Thanks for watching and don't forget to support your local trumpet player.